Okay, brand new strategy this time, and it's going to be featuring a 6-star that I've never used in a guide before, which makes me pretty excited. We're going to first take a look at the tags that we'll be taking. It's very different from the Golden Glow strat. First off, you will be buffing the Sea Crawlers this time, where they have an increased range, they deal more arts damage. The way that we'll handle this tag is that we're going to bring all sorts of range operators to shoot them from afar, to kill them, and not inflict any arts damage onto your operators. So take note of that later on. No bars onto first to top because this 6 star cannot kill first to top with any increased HP. If there's a base HP that you're tackling against, this 6 star can handle it perfectly fine. But of course, if you bring other people to support, then you can probably buff him. All right? Then at the same time, take attack up, raise 3, and HP down, raise 3. These two are always very simple attacks to take in any CC. So it's very nice to be able to use them again. And don't take HP up on the enemies and attack down because this means you'll take a longer time to kill them and it makes it really tough. Now we're going to use a lot of physical damage against the enemies later on. So getting any defense up is going to hurt quite a bit. So no to this as well. We'll take stun cold frozen time increase by double. And then because we're using a hybrid of operators in this strat, there's going to be snipers, there's going to be defenders and even guards. We don't want to take any of the risks too. Instead, I'm going to be using the Medic and Supporter double cost because I'm not going to use these two classes at all. Now, if you're bringing Vanguards, it is perfectly fine for you to use this particular tag. But because my strat has no Vanguards involved, I'm going to remove it. This also means that if you do happen to bring like a Myrtle, this is a very free risk for you to take and making this risk 19, meaning you can lower anything else that you want. Alright, take note of that. Then take Deployment Limit 5 and then increase the number of eggs by 4. There's a difference from the Golden Glow strat. We didn't increase any eggs back there. So take this, this time around, and I'll show you how to handle it. Take the one that says uh, skills needs more SP to activate, and then we are not making any enemies. So one HP seal will be taken. Uh, it's different from Golden Glow strat as well, where we didn't take this in order to leak a first to talk. This is what they will be using. So this one involves a brand new 6 star as mentioned that is Horn on skill 3 M3. If you don't have that, please borrow from friend. Don't have a friend, you can come to my Discord server, add someone over there. Now Horn is a marvellous operator for this CC. She's even really good in the higher risk beyond risk 18. So I'll show you guys how to use her in a bit. As mentioned, we're going to be creating a shooting range against the eggs. So these four operators are your eggs killers. Take two marksman sniper, an AoE Sniper or a Dead Eye Sniper. Again, if you are wondering what are all these terms, just check the branch over here. So, Marksman Snipers, for example, if you take a look at this, then afterwards you see Marksman. So, um, you want an AoE Sniper, so someone like Catapult. Let me just pull her back into the stage. So, take these four operators. As long as they can point onto the eggs, then they are good to go, good to use. Alright? And then also bring a Dreadnought Guard. Either a Dreadnought Guard or a uh, Charger Vanguard or a Fast Redeploy, like a Phantom or a Project Red. Because you're using these to kill the Spitters later on. Those range uh, physical damage dealing guys. Then take a Gravel, doesn't need to be E2. E1 Gravel, skill 2 rank 7 will work just fine. Now the three operators you see behind are what I call the stallers. You're using them to block the flowers, to maybe uh, get the first to talk to get aggro. So if you need more bodies, bring more of them as you wish. It can either be a Dreadnought Guard because they have high HP or other defenders with high HP or high defense. And then if you want to bring more fast deploys, that will work as well. Maybe a Phantom skill 1 because he's able to have a shield or a project rate on skill 1 because of the dodge. Alright, so take note of that. That's all that you need to see. Nine operators, bring more operators to make this even easier to play. Let's begin the stage. Selviento cast, this time with a horn call. You start the stage very similarly to the Golden Glow strat where you place a cruise over here, because she can handle all the smaller enemies very easily. Next up, you see the four eggs on the left there? Here comes your free wrist too. Just place a horn here, wait her for her skill to be ready to be activated. Once you can turn on her skill, go ahead, blast it, throw it on the eggs. Place a marksman sniper over here, facing to the left. And then you can place a caster here as well. Look at that! 
Risk 2 straight away into your pocket just by killing the eggs. Now you can remove Pawn. Now leave Jessica there, leave Click there as well. There's going to be a spitter that comes up from the top. So the way that you're going to handle it is just by placing a Melanta, let her attack it. Okay, Click is done killing this egg. For whatever person that you place over here, Caster, Sniper, I'm not very concerned of who it is. Once the egg is killed, just remove. Remove the Dreadnought Guard once you have uh, killed the spitter. And this guy right here, trigger him with a Gravel. Just let Gavel get killed by him. Okay, there are no more enemies spawning from this side. You can remove your snipers. Next up, place a horn right over here facing to the right. So you're about to see the magic happen. So horn's gonna kill that spitter. Use your gravel to trigger this flower. You can let Gravel just get killed. Then, you do want to hold this flower back a little bit. So, use a defender to just hold it for some time. And then use Pawn Skill against the first to talk. Now, using whatever snipers you have, place a sniper here. You can place a caster here. You can also place another uh, AoE sniper behind. Wait for this guy to be killed so that you can deploy a... Uh, sniper right over here to handle the eggs. So just like that. Okay, I'm gonna wait till Horn manages to kill the first to talk. Once she's done that, trigger this flower. Now you can use a defender to hold the flower back a little longer. Just like that. You don't want the flower to reach your AoE sniper and the caster. If not, they will die. So use whatever that you got to hold it. And then use your Dreadnought Guard to also attack this particular spitter right here. Alright. So your casters have helped to trigger. If your casters don't help to trigger, you can remove a sniper here and then afterwards use like a fast redeploy to wake it up. Now you want to hold this guy back a little bit longer. Okay. And I can remove my sniper as well. And then there's going to be two more people spawning, a spitter and one more right over there. So you can wake it up. Boom. If you do need to put any bodies, then go ahead and do so. If not, let me just use a horn to attack this guy. She'll manage. And just hold him there. You need more bodies, just plonk. Just like that. As simple as it is, another risk eating cleared. And this will probably help you to solve the eggs challenges. Uh, one of the challenges has to do with buffing the eggs. So hope I helped you guys with that. And if not, I shall see you guys in one more core strategy. Assert the core. Alright, bye-bye.